Hello everybody, it's yours truly, Crypt. Coming back with a new video. It's been too long once again. Recently, I've been asked a lot on TikTok mostly how I film my cosplay videos and what I use to make them look the way I do. The answer is simple. It's not a lot. <laughs> so in this video, I'm just gonna be going over like the things I use for filming. Everything I list today will be put down in the description so you can find it easy. I can make this a series if there's other things you all would like to know, like what kind of tools I use for styling, makeup, cosplay makeup techniques, anything you want. Just let me know in the comments and I will do that. First off, I'll show a couple of my TikToks right here. That way you can kind of get like what I'm talking about. My TikTok is also here if you want to check that out for yourself. Sorry for the self promo, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Getting right into it. First things first, what I record on, what I'm recording on right now, I can't show you. I have an iPhone X, just the plain old iPhone X. Nothing crazy, nothing super new. It's got a decent camera and with lighting, it works pretty good, honestly. I don't need a crazy fancy new phone to be able to cosplay or make videos or anything. You don't need any of this to cosplay. You can have fun cosplaying however you want, any lighting you want, whatever. I don't have a super expensive setup. I don't have big photography lights. and You don't need a lot. You don't need anything. You can cosplay outside in the light or you can cosplay, I don't know, in your dad's garage. Anywhere you want to is good. <laughs> Next thing I use is, I forgot the brand name, but I'm gonna take this off and show you. I believe the brand is like newer, newer. It's an 18 inch ring light, very tall. Sorry for my mess of a room. Just cosplayed yesterday. Okay, I turned on the light to help you see. Been through the ringer, I've had it for a couple years. It was a little expensive, but we'll put that down there. They have different sizes with different prices too. Another thing I love to use is this little heart light. I'll put it on the backdrop and clip it on the side of the pole so that it can create colors behind me, which is really cool. And when you press some buttons on there, you get all sorts of colors. Flash warning, just saying. There's also a lot of settings like this that make it super fun and exciting. Here is it on actually with my ring light. So you can kind of see a little bit of blue. You can see it in the reflection of my sequin backdrop. Just add some nice shadows, a little bit of contrast, spices it up a little bit. Moving on to the next piece. I actually just recently got this. It is a photography light, an LED photography light. I got this on AliExpress because these are like super expensive everywhere else. The only thing is it's super short, but it works for me. I would like one that's a little taller, but I can also clip it onto things. I believe this was only $12 or $13 and I think shipping was free, so it was a super good deal. <laughs> As you can see, it's very bright. There are three colors. It comes with red, yellow, and blue that you can switch out. These are super nice for casting colors behind you, shadows. I also obviously have my backdrop. It's kind of hard to see it. I'll try to back the camera up a little bit. It looks like a mess right now because I'm filming sideways, but when I film vertically, it looks really good. I have some sheets layered so you can't see through this. I use a white sheet on the back, which is what I use mostly for my cosplays. I don't use the sequin side too much. But you can obviously change that. It comes with the clips, the frame. Um, yeah. Honestly, as far as filming videos go and the things I use besides my phone, that is pretty much it. I'll say what I use to edit some of mine. I obviously edit on TikTok, but sometimes I take them off. I always use CapCut. I used to use Video Leap, but Video Leap isn't free, at least for all the features and you can't edit long videos, but CapCut does all the same stuff and it's free. If you have any suggestions on editing apps, please let me know. If you have any more questions about certain things with cosplay, getting started with cosplay, like what got me into cosplay, the things I use for makeup, styling, anything, any tips or tricks you wanna know, let me know. I'm not an expert, that's all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, you know who it's been. Have an amazing day wherever you are. Be easy on yourself, drink some water, and take care of yourself because I probably won't do that, but I want you to. <laughs> okay, bye.